Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Our number today and every day is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin care, if you want to wean yourself off or a loved one off yours or their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your calls. Let us help you change your life. And let us help you change the lives of loved ones today. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in the bottom of the hour. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com, which I'm doing with George Nori. You can also uh, check out my website, brightsideben.com, order products directly from the website, and join the Brightside Ben team directly off the website or call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and they can give you the scoop. You can also call the Critical Health News team at 855-949-7234. Some of you may have heard me on George Nor yesterday. Critical Health News and uh, criticalhealthnews.com is my blog that I set up with, uh, with George Nor of Coast to Coast. Okay, we are talking skin and skin health, but not just the skin. We're talking about the skin as it relates to the entire body. I've been formulating skincare products for a long time, since the 1980s, since 1982, uh, 1983. That's when I just uh, started formulating products. My formulating my first skincare product was in 1983. That's a long time ago, folks. And what I discovered is this: skin health problems are body health problems. Nobody has just a skin health problem. Nobody has just psoriasis. Nobody has just acne. Nobody has just dry skin or hyperpigmentation, uh, dark spots. There's something percolating in the biochemistry, in the internal milieu of the body. If you have a skin issue, this, this is why dermatology is an utter failure as a medical specialty. All medical specialties are failures and medical specialists don't do anything to help heal the body. They never do, they never can, they never will. Because the body is not specialized in the sense that its components are disconnected. This is, the skin is emblematic of this idea. It's iconic in the sense that it's linked to every other component of the body, but it doesn't appear that way. It looks like it's just a covering, and it's not just a covering. We have to zoom in with our x-ray vision and see that the skin is made up like the entire body of cells and stuff, and the cells are communicating with the cells of the digestive system, and the cells of the immune system, and the cells of the nervous system. It's all linked. The key to helping, to reversing and completely eliminating skincare problems is to strengthen the body. This is the key to dealing with Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease and schizophrenia and autoimmune problems and osteoporosis and whatever your health challenge is. Strengthen the body. Be a bodybuilder. Be an athlete. Do what an athlete is doing. I love reading the sports pages, not because I particularly love, love sports, but I love reading about how athletes handle their business. 
They got, they're like Zen masters. They don't worry about tomorrow. They worry about the now. They forget about yesterday. They worry about what's happening today. They don't worry what anybody's, what anybody's writing about them or, or uh, saying about them. They're focused on their performance. This is how we want to look at life. We want to focus on our performance in terms of how we live our lives and in terms of our biochemistry. If you have a health care issue, if you have a health issue, you want to focus on how you're conducting your business. The major point to this whole discussion on the skin is the idea that the body's largest organ, that's the skin, the body's largest organ entirely, the liver is the body's lar largest internal organ, the body's largest organ is the skin and it's not separate from the body. Psoriasis needs to be treated as a body condition. Acne, dark spots, wrinkle formation, all of these health issues, all these skin health issues need to be treated as body issues. The skin is not segregated from the body. The bad news, with the rare exception of topical irritations or topical allergic reactions, sometimes people have reactions to latex or to nickel or to talc or to gluten even, to concrete. There's something called concrete dermatitis, which is a topical condition. With, but these are rare. With these, uh, after you factor out these rare exceptions, it is not possible to treat the skin in an isolated fashion with a cream. And any dermatologist who gives you a steroid cream or gives you an acne cream without addressing the internal milieu of the body is not somebody that you want to be paying attention to, in my humble opinion. The good news, by applying the same basic steps that we apply for keeping the body healthy, all skin health issues can be eliminated forever. This is such good news. This is the bright side. You can eliminate your skin health problems forever. Not in a temporary medicalized fashion, but in a real fashion, for reals. You can eliminate your psoriasis. It never has to happen again. You can eliminate your eczema. It never has to happen again. How cool is that, you guys? Your dry skin, no more, never. Really, truly hydrating your skin from the inside out using nutrition. We'll talk about that here in a second. As far as the specific nutrients go for skin, Topical nutrients and internal nutrients, the first consideration is vitamin A. Vitamin A is the skin's most important vitamin, and not coincidentally, vitamin A is a primary building vitamin. I call it vitamin anabolic, vitamin building. It's the good times vitamin. It tells the body it's okay to build. Remember, there's two processes that are constantly going on in the body. From the minute we're born to the minute we die, these two processes are always happening. Two major processes. There's the processes or the chemistry of building anabolism, technically, and there's the chemistry and chemical processes of breakdown, catabolism, if you're going to be technical about it. Anabolism building, catabolism breaking down. Anabolism, catabolism, build up, breakdown, build up, breakdown. These are all happening simultaneously. And by the way, the net, the term for the uh, sum total of building and breakdown of anabolism and Catabolism is metabolism. Anabolism, build up, plus catabolism, breakdown, equals metabolism. The metabolism is your bottom line. You're either net in the red, your, your metabolism is either net in the red, net breakdown, that is when the sum total of breakdown processes and build up, uh, and build up processes is net negative. You're breaking down faster than building up, or vice versa. You're building up faster than you're breaking down. If you're healthy, you're strong, you're young, you're, uh, you, you know, you're you're in good shape. Your skin's looking good. You're working out. You're athletic. Guess what? You're net anabolic. You're net building. You're net in the black. Your body business is in the black. If you want to consider your body to be a business, the bottom line, the metabolism is net in the black. That's what we want to be. We want to be net in the black. If you look at your little kid, look at a five-year-old kid, you look at a child, and then you look at grandma, you'll see the difference between net anabolic and net catabolic. We want to be net building. If you have a disease, whether it's a skin disease or anything else, rest assured, you're breaking down faster than you're building up. What does that mean? We got to reverse the equation, that's all. We got to figure out what's interfering with the buildup, what's getting in the way or what's missing. Restore what's missing, eliminate what's getting in the way. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here. 
in just a moment. We're talking skin, but we're really talking skin as it relates to the entire body. We're using the skin as an icon for, uh, or as a uh, microcosm, or as a representative of the entire body. When we have skin health issues, we got body health issues. When we got skin health issues or body health issues, we're breaking down faster than we're building up. We're catabolizing faster than we're anabolizing. Our metabolism is said to be, or can be said to be, in the red. Net negative. Net catabolic. Healthy bodies are a balance of anabolism building up and breaking down. They're both occurring. Both break down and, and build up are both occurring. If you have a business, you're spending money and you're making money. It doesn't matter that you're losing money by spending it. What matters is the bottom line. What matters is is that you're making more than you're spending, so your bottom line is going to be net positive, net in the black. Same thing with the body. If you're net in the red, here, this is really important. If you're net in the red, if you're net negative, if you're net breaking down, there isn't a single drug, there isn't a single medical device, there isn't a single medical procedure, there isn't a single doctor or pharmacist or insurance company or Obamacare strategy that can restore you back to building up. This sums up the failure of the modern medical model. This sums up the failure of modern medicine when it comes to reversing degenerative disease. Now, I'm not talking here trauma. I'm not talking here infection. I'm not talking when you get hit by a car. I'm talking chronic degenerative diseases, which are the vast majority of our illnesses. There is not a drug on the planet that can restore you back to your anabolic building in the black state. That's why I rip on the medical model. This is what makes me mad about the medical model. Now, I'm not talking about doctors. There's wonderful, nice people who are in the medical profession. They mean well. I'm talking about the paradigm, the model. Healthy bodies are net anabolic. The business of the body can be thought to be in the black. There's no drug or doctor strategy that can restore you to your in the black net positive state. If you have an inflammatory issue, an immune issue, an autoimmune condition, if you're not aging well, if you have pretty much any single degenerative health crisis, the business of your body is in the red. You're losing money. You're going bankrupt. The ultimate bankruptcy is death. You're on the way to going bankrupt. If you're in the red, your body's breaking down faster than it's building up. You're dealing with a body in distress. And when the body is in distress, it isn't going to be building. Under conditions of long-term survival threat, whether it's a disease or whether it's a drug, a drug represents a survival threat. Yes, your prescription drugs represent to the body a survival threat. How can a medical professional who's sworn to do no harm recommend, dispense, suggest, insist that their patients put a poison in their body that is going to cause the body to go in the red? How can this be? Well, only because they're hypnotized, like we are. They're in a hypnotic trance. Your doctor is in a hypnotic trance if he's bought into the medical model of drugging and surgery and, and, and freezing and cutting and sticking in devices. He's just as much in a hypnotic trance as we are. How do, you, how do you reverse degenerative disease? How do you eliminate skin conditions? You eliminate the distressors, and that includes the drugs and the doctors, by the way. It certainly inc includes the foods that were many of the foods we're eating. It means deep breathing, oxygenation. There isn't a drug on planet Earth that can touch the health benefits of deep, slow, regular breathing. There isn't a drug on planet Earth, there isn't a doctor strategy on the planet that can have the power of simple fasting or caloric restriction. There isn't a drug on planet Earth, there isn't a doctor strategy that you can name that has the power of good nutrition and nutritional supplementation for reversing degenerative disease. Now we're talking about the skin, but this is true about the whole body. In the case of the skin, which as I say is iconic for the entire body, we're fortunate because of the inherent rebuilding nature. Yes, the skin is iconic and emblematic of the entire body, but in a way, it's even more fun to, uh, more uh, a healing, and its powers of regeneration are even more dramatic than with the rest of the body because it's rapidly turning over. Think about it, the skin's on the outside of the body. It's going to be assaulted by the environment, so nature has designed a system where the skin cells and the structural components of the skin 
the stuff, if you will, skin's made up like the whole body of cells and stuff. Nature has set up a system where the cells and the stuff on the skin will regenerate faster than any other system in the body, along with the digestive tract. The digestive tract and the skin regenerate themselves faster than any other tissue of the body. They're the most dynamic systems in the body in terms of repair and regeneration. The skin and the digestive system, and that is such good news because it means while it's true, that all the components of the body are going to repair themselves and all the components of the body regenerate themselves and all the components of the body heal themselves, the skin and the digestive system do it faster than any other part of the body. Thus, the relevance of vitamin anabolic. Thus, the relevance of vitamin A. Thus, the importance of plain old vitamin A, which is your primary building of vitamin. In terms of moisturizing the skin, last program we talked about how... how uh, a dry skin is a billion dollar business. Almost everybody has dry skin and nothing says poor health. Nothing says poor skin health more clearly than dry skin. Dry skin is a skin health issue and ultimately it's an internal health issue. Anybody who says just put this moisturizing cream on your skin knows nothing about the skin when it comes to making your skin moist. There isn't a moisturizer on the planet, just like there's no drug on the planet, just like there's no device or no doctor strategy on the planet that can make your skin truly moist and hydrated because it comes from the inside. It comes from nutrition. In terms of moisturizing the skin, truly, and I don't even like the word moisturizer. That's a fraud word. That's a marketing word. You're not going to moisturize the skin because that means you're putting moisture on the skin and moisture is water. So if you want to moisturize the skin, the only moisturizer is really going to be water. How can you really moisturize the skin with wax and oil and preservative, perfume and, and essential oils, etc.? You can't. In terms of maintaining soft, hydrated, youthful skin tissue, vitamin A is a primary secretory vitamin, meaning it improves secretions. This is true whether we're talking about digestive juice secretions. Vitamin A is important for the digestive system. This is true whether we're talking tears. If you have dry eyes or a dry respiratory tract, vitamin A is a secretory vitamin for respiratory secretions and for tears. And vitamin A is a secretory vitamin for skin moisturization. It helps build the elements that are inherent in the skin that keep the skin soft and moist and hydrated. All the things we love about the skin. And by the way, that means topically as well as internally. This is so cool. Now, uh, under ordinary circumstances, you're not going to be able to do much topically, but there's exceptions, and that's vitamins and also essential fats. And even topical cholesterol, yes. Topical cholesterol can help heal the skin and help protect the skin and help support the production of natural moisture factors, putting cholesterol on the skin topically. How do you put cholesterol on the skin topically? Well, use my Truth Treatment products because our omega, or particularly our Omega-6 Healing Cream, our Omega-6 Healing Cream that you'll find on truthtreatments.com is made with cholesterol. My true serum also includes some cholesterol as well. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Those are my new truth, tr truth treatment products. Or you can check out my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben, where we post regularly about skincare topics. Okay. We're coming back with your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. And if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products that you hear recommended or advertised on the program, you can uh, call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or if you like, you can call the Critical Health News team at 855-949-7234. You can also uh, purchase products right off of brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com, or you can call the phone team and they can tell you all about it, 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team, too, for a one-time uh, $25 fee, I guess now. It used to be a $10 fee. Now it's $25 fee. In any case, for a one-time fee, you can get your products at the wholesale price and start yourself a longevity business, spreading the word, helping spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be and make some money at the same time. 866-735-2470 uh, is their number. 
Today, uh, our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about vitamin A, and then we'll talk about vitamin C, which is also a growth molecule, also a good times molecule, and also a secretory molecule. And along with vitamin A, the, one of the two most important vitamins for the skin, vitamin A and vitamin C. Later on, we'll talk about zinc, and then we'll talk about essential fats, all as it has to do with skin. But remember, it's not just skin. It's the whole body. Not just the skin. We're not. We're talking. Uh, we're, we're we're talking specifically about the skin. But keep in mind that the skin is reflective. The health of the skin is reflective of the health of the entire body. So the strategies that we're using to build the skin, to keep the skin healthy, to keep the skin soft and hydrated and youthful looking, are going to be the same strategies for keeping the body healthy and youthful looking as well. We'll continue that tomorrow on the bright side. Time to hit our phones. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. Sean, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's going on, man? I've got a eight-year-old daughter. Uh, she's about sixty pounds, and she's struggled with constipation her whole life, probably. Yes, probably yes. since potty trained, or even maybe earlier. No, it comes from birth. She, was she uh, was she breastfed? Yep. How healthy is mom? Um. She's got uh, high blood pressure. Take some okay. medication for that. Um, okay. Well, all of that's connected. I'm not. I'm not saying that okay. to rip on rip yeah. on anybody. No, I get it. I okay, get it. Good. I want to okay. know everything. And she's, okay. Here's well, here, well that's here's, created some wedding issues and things like that too. Here's what you need to do. Okay. Constipation is a sign of a, a freaked out uh, digestive tract. You know, you've heard of the fight or flight reaction, right? You ever hear those terms, fight or flight? Mm-hmm. Which you don't often hear. Fight or flight represent a body in distress. The body will either fight the stress or the emergency or the survival threat or it will flee the survival threat. They call that fight or flight. But what they don't often tell you is that there's a third element to the survival threat, and that's the freeze response. So really, it's not just fight or flight. It's really fight, flight, or freeze. Or you can think of it the deer in the headlights response. When a deer doesn't know what to do, if it's crossing the road and a car is about to hit it, it's not going to flee and it's not going to fight. It's going to freeze, and that's called the deer in the headlights look, and that's essentially what happens when you're constipated. The body is frozen. The digestive tract is frozen. It doesn't want to move. Now, sometimes it doesn't want to move because it's so inflamed and irritated that any movement is going to cause problems, so it'll freeze. In any case, constipation is a sign that something has been chronically getting into the digestive tract that the body doesn't want to have in it, or the digestive tract doesn't want to have in it. Cheese and dairy are prime suspects. Gluten is a possibility, but you don't want to, you don't want to go into uh, uh, an assessment of what's happening in the digestive tract with preconceived ideas. You want to look at the foods you're daughter's eating before she gets constipated. We've, so keep keep a food diary. What have you found out? You, we've already, verified already that she has wheat and dairy allergies. So there you we, go. We've there taken those away. And uh, she's still constipated? Yes. Then you got to do some more work. Then you got to find out what else is going on in there. There's something else that's doing it. Now, if she's eight years old and she's in kindergarten or first grade or second grade, then she's probably doing stuff, you know, when you're not aware of what she's doing. So you got to monitor her closely. It's not a question. I'm going to give you some ideas of what you can give her in a positive sense. Uh, there's definitely things you can do, but it's more of a question of what you want to take away when she's constipated. So you got to keep very close attention, pay very close attention to what she's putting into her system. Great that you eliminated the dairy and the grains. Congratulations. That's very, very important and good job on that. But there's something else going on. Uh, Now, as far as what you put into her system, fermented foods and probiotics. Get her on, uh, if you can get her to take capsules, get her on the the, uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence. Have her do one or two two capsules a day. You may want to try the uh, Z-Radical or the the Z-Radical for the kid is probably a little bit better, although it's not as potent as the Fucoid Z. If you're using the Longevity products, the Beyond Tangy Tangy can also be helpful. There's some magnesium in there that may help loosen her bowels. Magnesium in general is a good uh, nutritional supplement for kids and also has a relaxing effect. I'm sorry, go ahead. Can you give her too much of that? Uh, you, you. you know, you can go crazy with it, but if you're yeah. reasonable about it, it's difficult to give her too much. Like grind what? up, grind up some flax seeds in the morning. Get yourself a coffee grinder, and then uh, uh, go get some organic flax seeds at Whole Foods. Hopefully, you have a Whole Foods or a health food store somewhere there, and then grind up fresh flax seeds and sprinkle the powder on salads, in yogurt, or in smoothies, and that will also have a relaxing effect on the bowels. Between the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, magnesium. Pro- 
probiotics, fiber every day in the form of ground up flax seeds, uh, and then also uh, uh, elimination of whatever the problems are. And, and it's great that you already started that process, but there's probably a few more things. Between all those strategies, that should definitely 100% take care of the constipation issues. And keep in mind, if she's constipated and reacting against foods, then she's also running higher risks for skin problems down the road, for diabetes down the road, for weight problems down the road, for adrenal health issues and immune health issues all down the road. So this is much more severe, or much more serious, I should say, than just a constipation issue. There are problems that could progress uh, further on down the road. And then there's also, of course, nutritional deficiencies that can be an issue. And there's the toxicity of keeping, uh, keeping um, uh, toxins in the digestive tract uh, in, the, in the large intestine for a long period of time. So there's lots of long-term uh, uh, implications to being constipated at the age of eight, and you really want to uh, get to the bottom of this, no pun intended. Is that good, Sean? Yeah, is, uh, what about vitamin C? Vitamin C is great. Uh, you, in fact, vitamin C can have some anti-constipation properties. The problem with using vitamin C as a laxative, though, is it might cause some gas or bloating or discomfort, but you may want to try a quarter teaspoon of vitamin C in a glass of water, an eighth of a teaspoon of vitamin C in a glass of water, especially if she has an emergency and she really needs to evacuate her bowels, but she can't. Using vitamin C in a medicinal or treatment or therapeutic fashion might be helpful. How many milligrams of that can... About a quarter teaspoon uh, to get yourself some vitamin C powder, uh, okay. ascorbic acid powder, and maybe do a quarter teaspoon or so. You said she's 60 pounds? How much did you say yeah, she was? Probably yeah, 60 yeah. Pounds, yeah, about a quarter teaspoon or so, and that can have like a therapeutic effect. And if you want to do even less, like an eighth of a teaspoon, spoonful on a regular basis or the beyond tangy tangerine actually is the best way for her to get her vitamin c okay okay all right all right good luck man take care Thank sean you. thanks for calling buddy all right judy in montana welcome to the bright side what's going on hi i'm hey. so glad i found you on uh, uh the radio with george last night that was oh great. was it good Oh, good. Thank yeah, you for saying that. I appreciate you. it. And so here I am. I have quite a number of problems. I'm 71. Okay. I'm at the point where I need to <clears throat> maximize my maintenance. Uh, okay. COPD, psoriasis. COPD, uh, you said? I'm sorry. COPD yeah. and psoriasis. Okay. Uh, what else? Problems with uh, gluten. Gluten, COPD, uh, psoriasis, gluten. They're all connected, by the way. Okay. What else? I know. And I can, I've got to find out the best way to make myself All right. the best I can. We're going to take care of you, Judy. Hang tight. we got to take a break, okay? Don't go away, and we'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 831-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you at 844-236-6010. We're talking to Judy in Montana. Judy, you there, ma'am? I'm here. Yes, so you I never, you, you haven't heard this program. This is your first, uh, first listen to the bright side? That's right. That's oh, right. good. Well, welcome. Welcome. We're here every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. We've got lots of stuff at the archive page at brightsideben.com. And also check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Oh, I'll be doing all that. <laughs> okay, good deal. So you're 71 years old. You sound great. Yeah. Uh, just, just uh, you know, nothing exact, but just give me a sense, height to weight. Uh, Approximately. Four and a half. Uh, one, 14, 15. Okay, good. okay, so here's the deal. Uh, gluten intolerance, you said gluten intolerance, you said COPD, and you said psoriasis. Uh, yeah. all, of, all of these are telling me that there's something percolating in your digestive system. COPD is oftentimes related to diabetes and related to fats. Psoriasis is related to the digestive system in terms of something getting into your gut through uh, leaky gut syndrome, through a leaks in the gut, and it can also involve fat metabolism. And the fact that you have a gluten intolerance tells me that you probably allergic to a lot of foods that you don't know about. Gluten is just one component. It's a family of compounds that are found in grains, but there's other things as well. So if you go gluten-free, but you're still eating other foods that contain gluten-like substances, you're not out of the woods. You still have a problem. This is why gluten is such a misleading term. Because you go to the health you go to the grocery store, the health food store, and you get your gluten-free foods, there's still other components in those foods that could be causing a problem. So 
So I'm not a psychic here, Judy, but I'm telling you, you got some constipation issues or loose stool issues, uh, probably constipation. Very likely you have some gas and bloating because they go together with the psoriasis and the gluten intolerance. Again, I'm not beating you up here. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'm telling you, these are, clu uh, these are clues for you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say I've maintained uh, through all this for 11 years, so I'm uh, doing a pretty good job, but I've got to stick around longer for my... Well, brain. yes. So, the, the, the COPD is a serious issue. It's associated, yeah. like I say, with metabolic or chemistry problems, usually involving blood sugar and very likely involving leaky gut syndrome and something getting into the blood. Do you have uh, sleep apnea or do you wake up in the middle of the night at all? Any issues like that? No. No, no. issues like that? You always sleep no. good through the night? Okay, well, that's very good. That's, that's definitely a good sign. So first of all, here's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, do what we call food diary, where you write down every single morsel that you put in your mouth and then how you respond after that in terms of gas and bloating and digestive discomfort and heartburn and uh, constipation or loose stools, etc. And don't have, this is very important, Judy, I'm saying this to you because this is the first time you've, you've heard us, don't have preconceived ideas about what a good food is. I talk to people all the time and they're like, oh, well, I just eat salads. Not realizing that tomatoes and, and lettuce and, and broccoli all have active compounds that you could be reacting to. So no preconceived ideas. Simply write what you eat and then how you feel from a digestive system perspective every 4, 6, 8, 12 hours down the road. So you write down and just keep a, a running total and you're going to be surprised at what you find out. Second thing is you're going to start working on your digestive system. Probiotics are a must have. They're not optional. And by probiotics I mean so-called good bacteria. If you use the Longevity products, buy the BioLumen Nightly Essence. Take three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. You may also want to try the Fucoid Z. Uh, again, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. That will help coat the digestive system and patch up a leaky gut. You might also want to get some glutamine powder and do about a half a teaspoonful a day. You can find that on the internet or in a health food store, and that also is good for the digestive system. And, uh, also, um, uh, what we call bone soup, which is like basically chicken soup, but real chicken soup, not Campbell's chicken soup, where you take a carcass of a chicken, drop it in the water, and turn it into soup. That can be very soothing for the digestive tract and also help repair of the digestive system. Use vegetable juices. That can also be very helpful for the digestive tract, but use a Vitamix or a Nutribullet or something that keeps the fiber. You can also make your own fiber in a coffee grinder, as I was talking to our last caller, where you grind up flax seeds in the morning and then sprinkle it into your smoothie or put it on salads or yogurt, and that will uh, bump up the fiber value of your uh, of your salads, and uh, it will also help you help your digestive system and also help the good bacteria. Then, uh, as far as the psoriasis goes, and also for the COPD, think fats. When you have a digestive problem, that's going to impair how you process fats, and that's going to cause skin problems, and it can also cause metabolic problems. Usually, we don't have as big a problem absorbing our water-soluble nutrients, that is the B-complex and vitamin C and certain amino acids. When we have a digestive problem, what usually gets impaired is fat absorption, and there is a major relationship between vitamin A, vitamin D, and your essential fatty acids, your omega-3 and omega-6 fats, and the skin and psoriasis. So make sure that you're, in addition to doing all the digestive strategies, make sure that you're supplementing with 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day, 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 a day. Make sure you're getting some sun. You know, you probably know about phototherapy. Everybody with psoriasis knows that the sun is good for their psoriasis. Well, partially that's because of the vitamin D. The uh, sun is the best way to get your vitamin D. Yes, there's supplemental vitamin D, and you can get vitamin D in organ meats and dairy, etc. But uh, the best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun. So love the sun. Don't burn. I'm not saying to burn, but love the sun. Make sure you're getting a 10 minutes or so of sun a day. Uh, Montana doesn't have a lot of sun probably in the winter time, but in the summertime, it's nice and sunny uh, in Montana. So make sure you're getting about five or 10 minutes a day in the sun, but don't burn. Vitamin E can be helpful. 400 international units of vitamin E a day. Zinc and selenium are minerals, but they're also processed by the fatty system of the body. So if you're running into problems with leaky gut syndrome or intestinal issues or digestive issues in general, you could be very well be zinc deficient and selenium deficient. So make sure you're using 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. That's spelled P-I-C. 
O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate, and then make sure you're using the ultimate selenium, 400 to 600 micrograms a day of selenium. If you want to do something topically for the psoriasis, go to truthtreatments.com and look up the Omega-6 Healing Cream, and that can give you some benefit. You might also want to try uh, the Truth Serum. That can give you some nice moisturizing, skin softening, and skin healing benefits as well. So you've got lots of things to do there, Judy, and the most important thing I want to tell you is your psoriasis is a harbinger of things to come, including cardiovascular health issues, there's a very important uh, comorbidity, they call it a comorbidity, which means something that happens with your psoriasis. It's a, another problem. And there's a very significant cardiovascular comorbidity that's associated with psoriasis. People with psoriasis are much more likely to have problems with their heart further on down the road. So this is it's not a, this is a serious issue. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. It means your body is breaking down. It's not a merely cosmetic issue. It's associated with comorbidities down the road. So you really gotta, you really gotta get to the bottom of this thing. Okay, uh, that's Thank lots of stuff so for you there. Much. God bless you, ma'am. And please look, keep you. listening and call back and let I us will. know how you're doing. Take care. Thanks, Thank Judy. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. All right, uh, Rose in Virginia. What's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Rosa, uh, Rosie, what's up? Do we have Rose? Rose, hi. How you doing, Ben? Hey, God bless. Ro- God bless you as well. What's going on? Got a couple more minutes well, here, Rose. I'm grateful to the Lord. You know, I'm here because He wants me. I'll call you or contact you. Um, how would I say? I have a friend that his college has gone ninety-two percent, but I'm trying to do it in the most reasonable way. I, I didn't way. hear that, Rose. I'm sorry. I didn't. Re- you you have a friend. I heard that, but what did you say after that? Uh, friend neighbor that he's ha- he has a 92 percent cartilage gone i'm uh-huh. trying to encourage him to avoid surgery as much as he can uh so i'm you know i'm trying to i got the tangy um i got the probiotics well there's a few I more things got the a- efa but i'm using the, the golden flaxseed because it's coming from my packet how old uh, is your friend how old is your friend he's 60 60, I think he is. Okay. Here's a couple of things you want to do. First of all, the most important thing is you've got to eliminate any inflammatory factors that get into the blood through the digestive system. That's the biggest problem. When a cartilage is breaking down, the biggest problem, in addition, one of the biggest problems, because nutritional deficiencies is also a problem, but one of yeah. the biggest problems is inflammation that is getting into the body, inflammatory factors that are getting into the body through the digestive system. As long as there's inflammatory factors in the blood, the body will be in a survival mode and it's not going to repair and it's not going to build. So you've got to eliminate the entrance of these inflammatory factors through the digestive through the digestive system. That means a food diary and eliminate problem foods or identify and then eliminate problem foods and then start to build up the digestive tract as we were talking with our last caller. Glutamine powder can be very helpful. Eating cartilage can be very helpful in the form of bone soup. Using the glucogel caps can also be very important and I'd be throwing that in there as well. Anything that builds up cartilage is going to help build up the digestive tract and vice versa. The glucogel caps will do that. I would also be using some of the Z-Radical or the Fucoid Z. Don't forget protein. Good old protein. Use whey protein and make sure he's using some digestive enzymes with the whey protein and also some apple cider vinegar and keep going with those keep going going with those essential fats. That's all the time we have, Rose. Probiotics, Probiotics, the whole digestive, all the digestive support that we talk about. Rose, I got to move. We got uh, we're out of time thanks for your call appreciate it say hi to steve for me too by the way all right that's it for us on the bright side check out my blog pharmacistben.com if you want to purchase any of the truth products go to truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com and uh, tomorrow we'll continue talking about the skin and we'll talk some vitamin c topical vitamin c as well as internal vitamin c thanks for listening friends have a wonderful awesome beautiful day i'm pharmacist ben we'll talk to you later bye for now